Hi Pisces, welcome to your December tarot scope. This is Teresa from Tarot by T. Before I start your reading, I want to call in some good energy and create some sacred space around this reading. So let's see what's coming up this month. We have a full moon in Gemini on December 11th, 12th, the night of the 11th, the morning of the 12th, depending on where you live. And then we have a full moon solar eclipse, I mean a new moon solar eclipse in Capricorn on December 26th. Um, and that's favorable to your sign. That's going to be falling in your 11th house of hopes, wishes, friendships, groups. So it could be a surprising time because this full moon, I mean this new moon eclipse is conjunct Jupiter and trine Uranus. So uh, anything could happen. And usually it's probably going to be positive because Jupiter brings abundance and opportunity. So let's see what the cards say. Um, what does Pisces need to know about love and relationships for the month of December 2019? What is coming up? What is coming up for Pisces in December 2019? What does Pisces need to know about love and relationships in December 2019? Okay, let's see what we get. The world. That's a great card. The Ace of Wands. The Eight of Swords. The Six of Pentacles. The Two of Wands. The Nine of Cups. The Queen of Swords. The Wheel of Fortune. The Seven of Pentacles. And the King of Wands. Okay, so the World card, you're starting the month off with opportunity. The World card is about something coming to culmination, something coming to completion. Um, everything's kind of, uh, it's the end of a cycle, but it's also like, and then it's the beginning of a new cycle because you have this Ace of Wands. So something is ending, not necessarily a relationship, but it's like you're coming to completion. You're coming to the end of um, a cycle or a way of life. Um, and everything seems to be working. Everything's working out in your favor because you have the Nine of Cups here. The Nine of Cups is a wish fulfillment card. And you're getting ready to move to the next level. So it's like you're finishing something up. You're ending a way of life and you're starting something brand new with this Ace of Wands, something that you're really excited about. It could involve a partnership. It could even be a business um, connection, but it could be love too. Love or business, because the two of wands, sometimes the wands um, are career related, but they could also be love partnerships. If it's a love relationship, it will be a very active um, connection where you're doing a lot of things together. And not one of these like sitting on the couch, you know, watching movies. You'll be out like hiking or, you know, doing something athletic or traveling. As a matter of fact, the world card sometimes means world travel or you're reaching a global market or a global audience. But definitely there's a new beginning. New energy is coming in this month with this Ace of Wands and it's going to bring uh, a lot of happiness. You're going to feel like you're in a new place or a new world. Um, it's going to bring happiness and um, contentment. This is a card. The Nine of Cups is a card of contentment. Now, in the past, you have the Eight of Swords and the Six of Pentacles. So you, you're moving out of this energy. The energy of the past was feeling trapped, feeling stuck, feeling like you're in a prison and you can't move, having, you know, fearful, fear of moving out of a situation that was very restrictive. The Six of Pentacles is about, um, you know, you're very compassionate. Pisces is very compassionate, very giving. There's, I don't think there's any sign that's more giving than a Pisces. Um, because you really feel other people's pain and you really feel for the for, for the people that are um, disadvantaged or the less fortunate and you just want to help and heal the world 
The problem with this energy, with the Six of Pentacles, is that there has been an imbalance. You could have been in a relationship where you were doing all the work, you were doing all the giving, you were taking care of someone or helping someone, and you were neglecting your own needs, like your own needs weren't being met, or there wasn't there wasn't an equal give and take. But this in, this energy is is uh, passing. Um, and now you're having this new opportunity come in, this new energy, and you're planting seeds because the Ace is about planting. It's about all Aces are about beginnings. The Ace of Wands is kind of like it it, rela it relates to spring. So it's like you plant the seeds and you wait for them to grow and you wait to see what's going to happen, what's going to develop. And here, this is your card of this is a card that means. You know, I have a potential to partner with someone, or I have a, a potential for a new beginning, and um, I'm waiting to see what's going to happen. It's kind of like you're in this waiting mode to see what's going to develop. And you're kind of remembering, the. you might still be thinking about the past, um, and remembering what you left behind, or what the, the energy that you were in, and you're like, maybe there's a little bit of apprehension, like am I going to go through a similar situation so you might be a little cautious about this new opportunity especially since you have the queen of uh, swords here the queen of swords energy is an energy of someone who's been through a lot and has suffered a lot of heartache um, has been disappointed betrayed whatever and she has built a wall up around her because it's life has forced her to be independent you know you've, you've become like a um, isolated from or afraid to connect with people because it's like I can do it I'm independent I don't need any help you know maybe uh, in the past you had a relationship that was disappointing or didn't fulfill you in some way or you've been hurt in the past when you've given your love and you've you know gone over out on the limb for someone else um, so this has made you a little bit more because uh, Pisces is so romantic and so idealistic I mean you see the best in everyone but with this Queen of Swords energy, you're being a little bit more discriminating. Um, you're being a little bit using logic instead of your heart. You know, instead of letting your heart rule your head, um, you're questioning things. You're being a little bit more, you know, like, okay, is this looking at the facts? Um, so you're being a little bit more judgmental or a little bit more critical of anything new that's presented to you. Um, because this is also in your fear sector or your psychological block sector. And it's because of anything that you've gone through in the past. But I can tell you that this is a new cycle coming in. And that's not going to be anything like what you've experienced in the past. You have the Wheel of Fortune. Your luck is changing. Your life is changing. Um, you know, life is like a series of hills and valleys. So you're coming out of the valley. And you're starting to, things are changing and you're starting to rise again. And the Wheel of Fortune represents opportunity. Um, but I think you're going to take a wait-and-see attitude in December. Um, you might say yes to an opportunity that comes your way. Um, but I feel like it, you're going to be planting seeds and kind of waiting. You're kind of in this holding mode. Like, okay, let me see. I'm, I'd like to get involved with this new opportunity. But let me see. Or it could be a new relationship. Let me see where this is going to go. You're kind of like waiting um, because a part of you doesn't trust it or the part of you doesn't um, believe that there will be growth, that there will be. Th you're not believing in the Nine of Cups energy. You're thinking, well, uh, let's just see what happens. You're a little bit cynical. Um, but you have this King of Wands as an outcome. So you could be dealing with a fire sign, someone who's an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. And even if it's not, um, you could also be dealing with an air sign. But um, let's talk about the personality of this King of Wands. The King of Wands is someone who's very outspoken. He's a natural-born leader. He knows what he wants, and he goes after it. He knows, you know, he doesn't, um, he's not a BS type of person. He's the kind of person, he tells it like it is. You know, if you want the truth, you go to him, he'll tell you. You know, he doesn't spare your feelings. Um, and he wants to help. He has a big heart. Um, so for some of you, it could even be a Leo type energy because I feel like the King of Wands to me always, I see him as a Leo 
But he could be Sag or Aries, I mean. Uh, and he could be a different sign, but just with those characteristics. Um, he's very outspoken. He has a presence when he steps into the room. You know, you have to notice him. He's not one of these shrinking violet types. Um, and he's not hiding in a corner, you know. He wants to be noticed. He wants to be seen. He makes his presence known. And he likes to help others. He, he really enjoys rescuing the damsel in distress. Or if someone has a problem, he's there with your solution. You know, you need to do this and you need to do that. And he can be a little bit bossy at times. But it's only because he really cares and he wants to see you do well. You know, he wants to help. He really genuinely wants to help. And he really believes that his opinion is the most valid. <laughs> you know, my, take my advice and you won't go wrong. Um, so he's got good energy. He's got um, positive energy. He could be a mentor, someone who's showing you the ropes in some way. He could be like a business person who's been through something, like a guide or a leader uh, or a coach even. Um, so even if it's a partner, a romantic partner, it's someone who's giving you good advice, who's supporting you in achieving a goal. Um, so there's a potential for a new beginning, definitely, in, Jan uh, in December. And it could be something that comes up out of the blue, an unexpected opportunity, because this is the Wheel of Fortune. Um... And this Wheel of Fortune is, you know, things are changing. It could be unexpected. You know, you might be following a specific path and then all of a sudden this opportunity pops up. And you're like, oh, do I accept this? You know, is it a new relationship or a new project or something? Um, and you have to give it some thought. So don't be too cynical in December, Pisces. I know you've been through a lot in the past. And you know, you're afraid of getting stuck or being trapped again. Because you went through a period of feeling imprisoned. Feeling like you're... Options were limited, you couldn't move, it, you know, you wanted to do things, but you couldn't because of certain um, conditions. So you may be a little bit wary that you're going to fall into a similar situation as this Eight of Swords energy, or a situation where you're doing all the work and no one else is pulling their own weight, or you're not getting enough back. But I think this is going to be different because this energy of this king, he's not one to... Um, He's, he's very, he's one to, to work alongside of you too. He wants an equal partnership. Um, and you may find that you're falling into something that uh, things are just working out perfectly and you're feeling like, hey, um, finally things are starting to happen for me. Finally, I am doing work that I love. Finally, I'm meeting people that I really resonate with in a relationship. You know, everything seems to be coming together. It's like you're feeling like you're in this uh, magical um, time of wish fulfillment. So let's see what the astrology is, what ha what's happening for Pisces. So the full moon in Gemini is not exactly, um, it's square to Pisces, but it's happening in your fourth house, fourth and tenth. So there could be some um, conflicts around home and career. You might be torn between um, time that you, you need to spend on your family and home and the demands of a job or career. Um, so there's like you're trying to find a balance. Something's coming to culmination. You're trying to find a solution. Like how do I balance work and home? How do I balance my career life with my family? You know, that's going to be an issue. But you also have, and at this full moon, um, there's kind of a difficult energy with all the planets in Capricorn. You have Saturn, Venus, Pluto, and Jupiter in your 11th house. So there could be a lot of things happening in your career, and you could be achieving a goal that you've really wanted to achieve for a long time. And now things are happening. You're connecting with the right people. You're, you're meeting, you're dealing with people who are like the movers and the shakers. You're creating a plan that really has some legs. Uh, you're doing work that you really love because Venus is in the 11th house. You're working with people that you really resonate with but there may be some conflict in the family like you're too like oh you know where are you we need you to you know you're always at work or you're always on some project and so there could be some tension around that where um you're being you know people want everybody wants a piece of you and you're like i don't know i can't but you're really feeling passionate about this project 
and Mars is in the ninth house, so, um, and it's trining, it's in Scorpio, so it's strong. And it's trining your ruling planet, Neptune, in the first house. So you're really feeling, uh, it may, you may want to travel, or uh, some of you may feel like traveling or exploring new, uh, new paths, new worlds. The ninth house has to do with higher education, long distance travel, you could be teaching or learning. You could decide, I think I want to take a course and, you know, brush up on my skills. Or I want to teach, you know, something. Um, I want to reach a global market. Um, the ninth house is also the house of beliefs and spirituality. So your belief system might be changing. You might be ex being exposed to different concepts. And um, you're, you're just, all your energy is in the ninth house with Mars. And Mars is strong in Scorpio. So you're really wanting to take action. You're wanting to, to break out of your narrow confines. Like if you've lived in the same place and you haven't really, you know, you stay in the neighborhood, you don't even, you know, you may go to the next town, you're going to want to travel. You're going to want to break out of the local environment and reach people from other areas. And you could be doing that in December. Or that could be the start of it. Or like the work that you're doing is getting exposure. It's, it's connecting you with people outside of your local environment. Um, Jupiter in the 11th, it's a, the 11th house is the house of hopes and dreams and um, the groups that you belong to. So it's really a lucky time. It's a time where you can really manifest a goal or a dream that you've been working toward for a long time. So it's a wish fulfillment house, the 11th house. But you're going to do it not just um, through your connections with other people. It's a social house. So it's through networking, through connecting with others, and joining as part of a group or a team, you're going to achieve a long-held goal. And here's a Nine of Cups. You know, wish fulfillment. This is the time to make your dreams real. It's not just about dreaming about something or, you know, hoping for something to happen. This is about manifesting. And you can do it. I mean, you've got Saturn. Saturn's going to require you to work hard, to have a serious plan, to be committed to your goal. Pluto um, can bring transformation. It's going to transform your life in some way. You, or you could be connecting with people that are very powerful, that wield power. Venus is, tr is conjunct Pluto at this full moon. So it's some, you're doing something that you're really passionate about. And through your connections, if you're not in a relationship, you could meet someone that you feel, you could have a very passionate connection. So you're either connecting with someone on a romantic level that and it's like a friendship could turn to love or something is very becoming passionate. You know, you're very passionate about this person. You're very passionate about your mission. Um, you're achieving a long held goal. So it could be like someone that you've always admired and now you have a chance to either work with them or have a relationship with that person. Um, so there's a lot of love and passion there. Strong feelings. And it could be that you're connecting with someone who is very different than you, from maybe a different culture or has comes from a different background. Um, Jupiter in the 11th is trining Uranus in your third house. So your communication style is going to be changing too. You might take more chances. You know, you might reach out. And, um, you know, Pisces is kind of um, a little bit on the introverted side, but now you might feel the courage to reach out and, you know, connect with people through communication. And um, there could be surprises around, because um, the third house is relatives, you know, brothers and sisters, siblings, aunts, uncles, your neighbors. So there could be surprising developments. And when Uranus is in the third house, you could get involved more in technology, in, in communication. So whatever you're working on, it involves technology, it involves the media, marketing, publishing, because the ninth house is also publishing and that's involved uh, there too. So there could be some, uh, some things coming to completion that bring you great joy, that you feel like I've really accomplished something this month. You know, everything's coming together. And not only is it coming together, but now you're ready to take it to the next level. So then we have the solar new moon eclipse in the 11th house. It's a brand new opportunity. Jupiter is conjunct this new moon. It's trining Uranus. So 
it's very powerful. Eclipses are very powerful new beginnings. You have an opportunity now to achieve a goal, to achieve a dream, to connect with people that can really make something happen. Um, so it's a very exciting time. And um, let's see. It's, and it's also, it's, and Mars is now supporting Saturn and Pluto in your 11th house. So you've got all this energy. Uh, all the planets are kind of, Mars is giving your 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 planets in the in the tenth house energy, um, so you're going to be very involved in getting the your. If it's a work project, it's going to be involving publishing, communicating, marketing, uh, internet. You're reaching a global market. You're reaching a wider audience or a wider area, um, and you're building something solid and stable, something that can really transform the world in a positive way. If it's a relationship, um, it's going to be something that you can, you can build something that's very solid and stable, um, very energetic, very passionate, and something that will last a long time. It's like something like you've been working toward for a long time and now finally you've arrived, you've achieved this goal. So if it's a love relationship, you could find yourself um, connecting with someone that is really a perfect fit, a good match, and something that, like, where a dream comes true um, for you. Something that you've always wanted to do, always wished for, or hoped for, and maybe thought it wasn't possible. Now things are going to happen. Things are going to, new opportunities, sudden, and it could be out of the blue. When you least expect it, this opportunity pops up. So be on the lookout for uh, unexpected developments, because with Uranus, you never know what's going to happen. Just wait and see what comes in. But I can tell you, you're going to like it because you have the Nine of Cups. You're going to be happy with the results. You're going to be happy with this new trajectory. And a solar eclipse is about, it, it lasts for six months. So the energy is just starting in December. But you're going to have like six months to see it develop and grow until the next eclipse. So opportunity is knocking. Opportunity is coming to, to fulfill a dream, to have a, a wish fulfilled to do something that um, you really feel it's like a magical time, it's like a gift. Jupiter is bringing you a gift uh, in Capricorn. So all your hard work, everything that you've worked hard for and you've sacrificed and struggled, you're achieving this goal in December. And it could come when you know as a surprise. So embrace the change, embrace the new. Don't fear the new. Don't feel that you're going to be trapped or stuck. Those days are over. Um, embrace this new beginning. And, um, you know, it may start in December, but it may really take off in March. Um, so just, it's a brand new world. It's a brand new path. So I wish you much luck and love in December, Pisces. You're, you're, it's going to be a good month for you. I think you'll be happy. Um, so this is my forecast. I hope this is a help to you. If you'd like to have a private reading that goes specific, that is specific to your situation, um, click on the link in the description box and we can get you on the schedule. In the meantime, I want to say thank you to everyone, um, for supporting this channel, either through likes or through subscribing, through commenting. I hope you're enjoying all these videos and I hope these videos have been a help to you, the readings. If you're new, welcome. And um, have a wonderful holiday season in December. Whatever you're celebrating, uh, I hope it's filled with love and light and peace. And I will talk to you again next month. Okay, bye now.